my name is Zoe Yi, and I'm in grade 10 at Ross Shepherd High School. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Science Fair and what it's about. As well, I'll talk about my journey to the Regional Science Fair and the Canada-wide Science Fair and what I've learned along the way. At my junior high, I was in the Pre-P program, and there's an annual Science Fair that all Pre-P students participate in. In grade 8, when it was announced that we had to start working on Science Fair, I had no idea what to do. Eventually, what I began to do was look up science ideas that interested me. Prior to this, I got to some Orbeez for my birthday. They're little jelly-like balls that you get in packages like this. They go into larger spheres when put in water. I'd receive them as a gift for my birthday because I love playing with them. I was researching them out of curiosity and I found a website that showed them being used in flower vases for decoration. That got me thinking, what if, instead of putting the cut flowers in Orbeez for their aesthetic appeal, I put seeds inside the water beans themselves and let them grow. I checked out the idea online some more, and there wasn't much information about plants inside Orbeez. That was perfect because maybe I could discover something new that people hadn't already worked on before. Thus, my science fair idea was born and I got to work. I learned that there are basically three main stages to the science fair process. One, researching and planning. Two, running the experiment and recording data and three, reaching conclusions and writing up results. So, the first thing I did for my project was to come up with what it was going to be about. Seeds inside water beads. I was curious about whether that would actually work. After I had a potential idea of what I wanted to investigate by doing experiments, I did some research online to see if any work or experiments had already been done in this area by others. Ideally, my question would be about something that didn't already have known results. I was thinking that if there were lots of existing results about growing seeds inside water beads, then I could adapt my question to be about some aspect of the idea that hadn't been explored before, or start looking for another idea. Luckily, there wasn't any information that I could find about my specific question, so I based my project about finding out whether seeds could actually grow in Orbeez. I also did some thinking about whether what I found would be useful knowledge or could be used in some way to help people or improve our world. Around that time, I was reading a novel about an astronaut who was stranded on Mars and had to grow his own food in a habitat to survive. I realized that if seeds could grow inside water beads, then maybe that could be useful in environments where water is limited and needs to be controlled, like in a spaceship or extraterrestrial settlements. After that, my research for my project looked into three areas of study. One, what plants need to grow. Two, what Orbeez are made of and how they work and three, how space scientists are growing plants in space. After I found out more about the things that my experiment would involve, it was time to set up the test. First, I started testing out different ideas and recorded what did and did not work with different approaches. Then, I wrote up what my project design was, gathered all the materials I needed, and started working on my experiment to show whether seeds would grow inside Orbeez. As I went along, I made sure to start collecting as much data as possible earlier on so that I would have enough time to fix problems or change my experiment if things weren't working out. Also, I wanted to have enough results in time for working on the final parts of my project. Don't forget to observe and record data daily. I briefly described the growth of the seeds every day, and I took note of interesting developments. Having detailed notes and material for conclusion is essential to the final results. Even if things don't work out as expected, you can still describe what you had discovered and maybe why it came out that way. Once I finished collecting observations and data on my plants, I began the write-up for my project. I chose a name for my project, Water, These Seeds Doing in Water Beads. There are five primary sections to the write-up for my school science fair, which were the sections that I put on my presentation board and in my script. They are the introduction, question and hypothesis, experimental design, data and observations, conclusion and analysis, and also the benefit to society. On judging day, we set up our experiments in the gym and gave presentations of our findings to volunteer judges. I made sure to be really familiar with my project, starting from what I researched about my question all the way to what I discovered from my experiment and what it means. I had my project binder there too that had notes about my research, my experiment, my observations, and everything else. A couple of days later, we heard the results. I won first place! After my school level science fair, the top few projects were entered into the Edmonton Regional Science Fair. At the regionals, which took place at Nate, we presented our projects to three to five judges, about five minutes each. In each presentation, we explained what we did, 
how we came up with the idea, and why our projects are relevant to society, similar to the school science fair. The next day, everyone was called up go to go to the Nate Auditorium for the announcement of the winners. I was called up to receive a silver medal. In the final part, they talked about the Canada-wide science fair. I was called as one of the members of Team Edmonton, and I'd be a participant in the National Science Fair in Fredericton, New Brunswick. I was super excited! The next month or so was preparation for the National Level Science Fair. I took my project and improved it slightly. Instead of just asking the question, will the seeds grow in Orbeez? I worked on going a little further with my investigation, shifting the focus to what size of holes will the plant seeds grow best in? After many team meetings and preparations, we headed to the airport to fly off to Fredericton. On the first couple of days, we were given time to settle into the dorms that we stayed in at the University of New Brunswick and set up our projects. Monday was judging day, where we all set by our projects and presented what we did, similar to the regionals. Each of us had about five to seven judges in the morning and the afternoon, plus extra judges for special category awards. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the displays were left up for public viewing. At the same time, we, the candidates, were taken to different parts of the UNB campus and around Fredericton. We got to experience science workshops, tours around Fredericton landmarks, and a visit to downtown. The workshops they provided were incredibly interesting, and they catered to numerous areas of study, including robotics, my personal favorite, biology, chemistry, physics and its applications, and medicine. During the evenings, the finalists and our supervisors were treated to a welcome event, a talent show, a STEM expo, a participants lounge, and lots of CWSF merch. Friday was the event we'd all been waiting for, the awards ceremony. On the night of the ceremony, we were super nervous. My roommate and I spent practically all afternoon getting dressed up and ready to go to the event. Once we got there, we had a banquet with a buffet spread waiting for us. First, the announcers opened the night with speeches, then special awards, then the bronze, silver, and gold category winners. My friends and I sat in a circle at the table, holding hands and shaking a lot. Finally, in the junior bronze category, I was called up. I won bronze at the CWSF! Zoe Yi from Edmonton, Alberta. Afterwards, there was a huge celebration that included hot chocolate, congratulations, a dance party, Mario Kart, and an overflow of fantastic food. And that's not where it ends. The next year in grade 9, I worked on a new project that used Science Fair in which I extended my experimenting with seeds in Orbeez. I fixed sources of error and followed up on suggestions for improvement for my previous project, and I incorporated carbon dioxide for a new question. How would adding extra carbon dioxide to the Orbeez environment affect their growth compared to normal levels of carbon dioxide? I won again at my school's science fair, and I was registered again at the regional science fair. Well, then COVID shutdowns began, and the regional science fair was cancelled on the day right before it was scheduled to run. Nevertheless, I kept doing my project in hopes that we might go back to normal in time for a rescheduled science fair. Unfortunately, that never happened. However, Youth Science Canada decided to run a virtual science fair in place of the regional science fairs and the CWSF. They set up the YSC online STEM fair for us to display our projects. I took many pictures and videos of my experiment, and I documented my project from all the way back to the beginning. There are sections for uploading information and photos similar to the sections I would have had on my project display board. I also made a one minute video to introduce my project. Then I uploaded everything to the project site and then explored everyone else's projects. A couple of days later, I found out that I won a regional ribbon award. In the end, what I learned from the whole process is that science fair is about taking something that you are interested in and curious about, and seeing if you can experiment with and find out for yourself what actually happens. If you ever get a chance to do a science fair, go for it and have fun. You never know how far you could go with it. When I started my project in January of 2019, I never expected that I'd not only win, but go all the way to the Canada-wide science fair and even continue the project the next year. The key takeaway is that if you have a question or a curiosity, think of a way to test it out and go for it. In conclusion, thank you to Vervone and the Wisest team for inviting me to present at this conference, and thank you for listening. Bye!